Tarkolo Falls Trail. We are here. We gotta go here. We're going to Shenandoah Valley National Park, Virginia, Northern Virginia. And this is a very special vlog. We wouldn't be able to go into the details of the you know the trails that we would have liked to because we don't have much time. We would go through the skyline drive and try to figure out which trail we can do within a day or within a few hours before we head back. And why is this trail today so special because this person behind the camera has always been behind the camera most of the time or most of the time or most of the part is my wife now we got married yesterday <laughs> When mentioning Shenandoah National Park, visitors often get that far away look in their eye, fondly recalling adventures at the scenic mountain jewel rising high atop Virginia's Appalachians. Shenandoah is Virginia's first national park, just 75 miles from the bustle of Washington, D.C. This park is a land bursting in cascading waterfalls, spectacular vistas, fields of wildflowers and quiet wooded hollows. With over 200,000 acres of protected lands that are haven to amazing fauna and flora, there's so much to explore. And your journey begins right here. This Skyline Drive is a National Scenic Byway that runs 105 miles along the crest of the Blue Ridge Mountains, starting in the north of the Shenandoah Valley at Front Royal to Waynesboro. Fall is the most popular time to travel along Skyline Drive, with its colorful foliage from late September to mid-November. Skyline Drive is this park's linear conduit, with 75 overlooks connecting travelers to all the major visitor centers, campgrounds, lodges, picnic areas, and most trailheads. This Blue Ridge Parkway was designed for auto touring, so it is no surprise that a drive along Virginia's rooftop comes to mind first. Concrete posts numbered every mile keep you apprised of your whereabouts. This drive is a worthy destination in its own right. Panoramic views from overlooks scattered on Lofty Drive, which runs 105 miles down the length of the 300 square mile sanctuary. It's this beauty near and far that create the unforgettable Shenandoah experience. 
This park rises from a mere 550 feet at its lowest elevation to over 4,049 feet at its highest atop, called Hawksbill. Where are we right now? Where are we going for the trail? Mm, here. How many miles? Oh, uh, I think we still have 30 miles. Hmm. So let's see. At a dark hollow falls parking area and this elevation is 3425 so we've been driving on this sky drive and this mark this spot is at around 30 miles and we were not expecting a lot of people here as you can see all these cars parked because um, this is the first trail uh, not the first, but the first trail which has a waterfall on it and it's a 1.5 round trip, like around 0.75 one way and I guess why I see why there are a lot of people on this trail so okay, let's hit this trail and get back Dark Hollow Falls Trail we're here now we go here okay The wild and less seen side of Shenandoah Valley awaits those who leave Skyline Drive behind and take to their feet. The rewards increase with every footfall beneath the stately oaks to rocky vista points and into the deep canyons where waterfalls roar among old growth trees. Five miles so not bad it is moderate not very super strenuous water flowing a lot of people on this trail because uh, it's moderate and the closest one which has a waterfall closest to the entrance uh, of this uh, national park There are countless trails and recommended walks and hikes, providing a sample of the myriad walking opportunities. Shenandoah National Park is home to roughly 516 miles of trails, including 101 miles of the Pelichin Trail. Some trails lead to panoramic vistas, some to spectacular waterfalls, while others penetrate deep into Shenandoah's wilderness and offer solitude for hikers and backpackers. And the trail we picked for the day was Dark Hollow Falls. The closest waterfall to Skyline Drive and the most popular trail is Dark Hollow Falls Trail. 1.4 miles round trip hike of this trail is little strenuous due to a very steep plain, but rewarding. You can meet this trail at 50.7 miles mark on the Skyline Drive entering from Front Royale on the northeast side of the park. <laughs> 